everybody. I am Christy, and this is Cannon. <laughs> and this is created by Christy. Today we decided to do something fun and festive for the holidays. Everyone is going crazy over these hot chocolate bombs. So crazy, in fact, that you cannot find round molds anywhere. So I went shopping to see what would work. Um, I we, bought. We found square ones and like circle halves in Michael's. So that's a tip for you. <laughs> so I happen to have this Christmas Village one that I bought a couple years ago on clearance at Michael's as well. And decided we were going to do Christmas Village Cocoa Bombs. And then we also found like a little rose one. So what we have here are the we bombs. Got, we got four houses in the front and turn around. And the rose in the back. Turn it around. A little rose, yes. In the back. So um, I poured the hot chocolate into the um, village mold, or sorry, poured the chocolate into the village molds and then froze it and then put the hot chocolate inside. And then we used the squares and I used a um, just a flat square mold with the white chocolate so that it looks like the little house sits on the snow. So I'm so excited. We're gonna pour some hot water over them and see what happens. Are you excited? I'm excited. <laughs> Okay, so I've got my gingerbread molds all frozen and ready to come out. And you guys, oh my goodness, look how cute that is. Ugh, cannot stand it. Stinking cute. Look at that. So cute. I literally bought this mold on clearance a couple of years ago and I have not used it yet. But I was like, how cute would it be to do the hot chocolate bombs in the mold? Because it's stinking adorable. So we've got those out. I used white for the bottom so it would look like they were sitting on snow. Okay, so our red roses are ready to come out. So that one came out super easy. Will they all come out that easy? Probably not. <gasps> Actually, wow. That is the best mold I've ever used for easy come out. So we've got our rose tops and our bottoms. So we're going to add them over here to our platter. Go to the next one. My first batch broke, so I'm trying to be very careful. Hallelujah! Oh, yeah. So look how cute. This is going to be the snow that the gingerbread house sits on. I'm so excited. All right, one. Can we do it? Dead gummit. All righty. All righty. Come on. Ooh, look 
at you. You can do it. You can. Oh, yep, yep, yep. Two. Woohoo! Come on. Do I hear three? Please. Please. Oh. Oh. Oh, yeah. I got three snowy bottoms. Come on, number four. Riding. Riding. Oh. There we go. Only elves get to put marshmallows in. Are you an elf? Yes. <laughs> Alrighty. There you go. Oh, let's focus on the houses first. Good job. Put five in each. Put five in each. Alrighty. Five in each it is. One in the corner each and then the one in the middle. Right. Corner. Corner. Do the You're going free for those? I don't know. I'm just throwing in marshmallows. Isn't it like the more marshmallows the better? I need four more. Oh my goodness. You need four more? One there and one there and one in the middle. Oh, I got too many. Look, more marshmallows. More marshmallows. It's marshmallow overload. You can never have too many marshmallows. Marshmallows are delicious. <laughs> Alrighty, so now we've got our warm plate coming and we are going to put on the other side of, let's start with the roses. The put two. them on the warmer plate. And then we're going to just push them together. Mom, can I put one together? The middle. Um, my mom may have missed that one. <laughs> the first one. Why you got a towel on me? Alrighty. I'll get the other one. That one's going to stick together. Yeah, I'll get That one on. The fifth one's broken. I know that. Thank you. You're good. Alrighty. So this is what I'm using to like make them soft on the other side. I've got a candle warmer here and a glass plate and that allows me to put it down so that it will adhere to the surface. So these are going to be kind of tricky. because they're not round and they're not flat. So it may take us a little more to get them flattened down.
Okay, so we have our hot milk and we're just going to pour it over. I don't know if you can see, I think you can probably see better in this one. Just pour it. You know what? <laughs> it's exciting! Okay, I had to bring you down. Ooh. Let's see. Oh, my house floats. <laughs> Here we go. The marshmallows are starting to pop out. I guess my milk wasn't super hot enough, but they're starting to come. Woo! Yeah. Let's not get it on the floor. There's the inside. The inside looks so nice. I know. Chocolate. Oh, the chocolate just popped. Oh. Yeah, and all the marshmallows are starting to come out. Oh, there's one. Just stick on. Look, guys, my milk probably wasn't hot enough, but were these fun? Do we have fun? Yeah. We did. Oh, see, look, we're starting to get marshmallows popping. Marsh there's like a ton of marshmallows, but literally because I had to use the thicker mold, it was hard to get everything um, in there. But we're going to... Take a sip. Are you ready to take a sip? Yes. Okay. Are you ready? Ready. Hey. Cheers. Mmm. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Until next time, see you later. Be sure, like and subscribe. Yeah.